Okay, so now we're going to learn how to make a table which has foreign keys. So I'm going to here in database structure here, I'm going to click on create table and I am going to look in at our relational schema and I'm going to call this table student. Okay, I need to add a field so and that field is going to be called stud ID style. It's going to be an integer, it's our primary key and it's going to be auto incremental. Um, so you can see that it's our primary key, it's auto incremental. So our next two fields are fname and lname, which stands for first name and last name. So click on here. fname, which obviously is going to be text and it can be not null um, because it hasn't got an op underneath it, not optional. Um, and then lname. Text and it's not null as well. Um, no, they're not unique because first names and last names can repeat quite easily. Um, we need a house ID. Now, this is first of our, of our foreign keys. Um, easiest thing to do with foreign keys is information's way over here with foreign keys to make it easier to line up. Bring your table over here and make it zoom out. Okay. Um, so you can actually see what's happening. So I'm going to come here and go add, and I should be adding in um, house ID. Double click over here, house ID. Um, it's going to be integer because the primary key is an integer. It has to be not null. Um, and I'll come over here where it says foreign key, and I double click in here, and this will provide me with a drop down of the other tables and I'm going to the house table and then I've got to say it's actually the house ID field. Once I've done that, I've got to press enter on my keyboard and it will turn into this checking system here. There we go, so I've done that and let's see what the next one is. It's, it's house ID, um, date of birth, date of birth now, um, we don't have an option for any um, date fields here, so we're going to say text. I'm going to make it text so we can put it in that way. And it's not null. Come back to relational schema. I don't know why I put house ID in there again, but I need to put the co cur ID in here next. So um, I'll go add co cur um, ID, and that's going to be integer as well. and if we go back and look at the relational schema, it's got OP underneath it, so it's actually optional. Um, so I don't click the not null here, and I have to come across to the foreign key, double click here, and say go to the co curricular table, and then co cur ID, and then press enter. And so you can see here's the actual SQL code to do all that, it's down there. If I can click OK, and now we have our student table with all the fields in it. And so that's how you make a table with foreign keys in it.